Hi, welcome to Captain Georgia. This is a series for basic navigation. We'll be discussing latitude, longitude, how to find your latitude, how to find your longitude, how to utilize and measure latitude, and how to find your position on a nautical chart using latitude and longitude. Each lesson is approximately three minutes in length. Let's get started. So we're gonna do a little background here about the mile. The word mile is from the Latin word for a thousand paces. It was originally based on the Romans. They had to march and figure out how far they could go in a day, so they needed some sort of measurement. So they determined that the mile would be 1,000 paces. A pace is two steps starting with your left foot to your right foot to your left foot. So they determined that one pace was approximately four feet, 10 inches. So a thousand paces would be approximately 4,830 of today's feet. But in 1500, a mile in England was defined as eight furlongs. A furlong was about 625 feet, or a total of 5,000 feet in a mile. This made the mile slightly longer. In 1593, the Queen and Parliament decided the distance for the mile just didn't work out that well. A lot of British measurements required a slightly different length. So they went and added an additional 280 feet to the current mile, making it 5,280 feet. Back in the second century, we began to utilize a system of latitude and longitude based on 360 degrees in a circle. Our latitude going north-south from the equator to the poles. We have time zones based on longitude, goes from pole to pole, starts at zero at the prime meridian, goes around the Earth east or west to the international dateline, which is the, the far side of the prime meridian. And that gives us this grid system on the Earth, and we work it in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So each hour of the clock equals 15 degrees of longitude. You can't use longitude to measure distance because the lines are not parallel. We always use latitude, we never use longitude. The issue we had with the statute mile, 5,280 feet, remember the Romans, and then the Queen, and then more changes, it just didn't fit in the grid system that we use for navigation. So the nautical mile was established equaling one minute of latitude, 1 60th of a degree, or 6,000 feet. So we use the statute mile on dirt, and we use the nautical mile on the ocean. And that's the difference between the statute mile and the nautical mile. The statute mile grew out of necessity. There's no correlation to the nautical mile. It just popped up again out of necessity. So it makes it much easier to do navigational mathematics if you have a one degree of latitude being a 6,000 foot nautical mile. So we'll be working with nautical miles when we do navigation.